All right, man, we got a guest uh, behind the camera, my boy, um, Ferris. I was actually coaching him a while ago. Anyway, um, we're gonna back. I just did 45 minutes of cardio, and this is gonna be like one of those, again, like a 45 minute workout, hour workout. Three exercises, uh, three back exercises, an accessory movement for shoulders and biceps. We're gonna take advantage of this gym because it has the dopest shit ever. We're gonna go use the machines. I'm sorry guys, I'll give you guys some, uh, some substitutes you can do, but while I'm at this gym, I can use all this sickest equipment, so. All right, so for the remainder of prep, I only got a few days left, well, like more than a few days, but the main thing for me is just getting everything really full. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more like high row more than, than pull-ups. We're gonna get the best of both worlds. I'm not looking to develop anything right now, more so than just like get the max amount of pump I can. So we're gonna do high row with this Panada machine, which is spoiled here, I'm telling you. But just to kind of get a feel for this right now. And I'm gonna give it an underhand grip, nice lean. All right, we're gonna drop this down a little bit. All right, simple. Let's get a feel. Now some weight. I have an idea what this machine feels like, so I'm gonna put weights on right away. Uh, it's got a very smooth line of pull, which is great. So it doesn't have like a hard part at the top, hard at the bottom. It's like very consistent all the way through. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. Add some weight and then go high reps. I'm just going like, I want 20 reps of everything. Reason why? Because if I do 20 reps with a good range of motion and time and attention, that's going to equate to a very long set. Feel the burning, last five reps. I want that to feel the entire set, literally. I don't have much glycogen in my body at all right now, to be honest, so. I'm, and I'm depleted from doing 40 minutes of cardio, so. The fact that I'm feeling a little bit of a burn and pump, which is great. So we're gonna add some more weight here. I'm gonna put on the plate. I know I've said before, we'll talk about putting on plates, but I know my limit at this machine. So I know that three plates is manageable. If I was gonna go any higher in, in progressive overload, then I'd be putting on small increment plates. I'm gonna get greedy soon. Make all y'all come meet me. You know, reason me coming down to the States and collaborating in the best gyms here in Canada. If you guys want to come collab, I already know I'm collabing with anyway. I'll be news for you guys coming soon. Got some really good collabs coming up. But for the rest of y'all who are who want to collab with me, which I'd be glad, come up to Burlington. Come on over Benson Drive, Crew Muscle Fitness. It's worth the fucking trip. I'll tell you that right now. A couple things you probably see me do. I'll spend more time on the eccentric. When the weight gets heavier, my eccentric's still gonna be at least like a minimum, two seconds. Picking this weight up, yeah, it's heavier. I will not be able to achieve 15 reps at a three second negative. I want a lot of reps. Either getting a nice stretch and contraction with the movement. For this purpose, being at the end of prep, I wanna get as many as this as I can under tension. All right, last set, and we move on to another rowing movement. We're gonna go high row, mid row, low row. One thing you have to really, it's something that comes with like years of like knowing your body and training and whatnot, is knowing when to push and when to pull back. You know, just right there, I, there was like, I had three more reps left and I'm like, I want to do those three, but they were not going to be good. And that last like one was just like, I felt the most amount of blood just sitting like right here. Like my, like my tricep and my tears are going to just bleh. So I just, right? All right, so guys, 
easy substitution for that machine. Like, I know these are like crazy, unbelievably amazing machines that you guys probably don't have. Easy substitution for that is just doing a regular underhand grip, you know, high cable row and have a little bit of a lean and work your high row. And if you don't have that, just do a, a pull down, a little bit of English on there. For here, guys, this is a great machine for a mid row, right? So this machine's gonna pull right to here. It's not like the other one where it's down here and pulling like this. So the line of pull is still right here, really nice mid row, right? So from here, I'm really gonna emphasize, again, when it comes to rowing, I kind of make that analogy of like letting your lats like, like, like fold over your, over your shoulders, like wrap around your body. So when I'm here and I, if you think about this thing here, the pad, when I protract my lats, everything wraps around here and then I pull it around and then basically back and it wraps over, right? So I'm letting it stretch and wrap over instead of me this being forward and me going through, it's just gonna be here and here and then pull. So what I'm gonna do guys, instead of having my, uh, I'm gonna pull these back, this helps get these levers closer. I'm gonna get myself back like this, right? And I'm gonna really, everything I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and mimic posing, something like that that's gonna be on stage to help me on stage. And I'm always thinking that too, when I'm training, but more so now, because I'm gonna be on stage. So, feet are back, and then we're, and I'm still active from here. I'm not limp. Still so active. My just hips, my hips are just under me now. I drove here tired from my hotel because I knew the environment I was gonna be in. So I'll tell you right now, yes, this kind of equipment does change things in terms of you being motivated, but you can also have this equipment do it wrong. But when it comes down to it, we're spoiled. You don't need that much. All of these things, like look, one, two, three, four, Right? There's four pieces right there that virtually do almost the same thing. Right? All stem from your original seated cable row. It's basically it. Just because you don't have this doesn't mean you can't have an amazing workout with your basic cable row machine. One more set, guys. We're keeping it basic. Very basic. Three hard sets. Making the sets hard by making sure I'm doing a lot of reps. So regardless of Whatever, 20 reps with a good negative is gonna make it very hard. One more here to go, then we're gonna do a bent over row. Here's our bent over machine row here. This is awesome. Anyway, it's gonna challenge the lower back because I have to stabilize from here. Chest support, I still have to be active and engaged, but you're not, there's nothing challenging you because you're basically 
hanging out here. Or no matter what you use a machine or not, pick this up like a deadlift. So you ever watch me when I pick something up? I'd be like this first. I'll get up first, then I'll get myself in position, and then I'll hinge, right? And the machine will walk in a little bit more. And then, here's my pump action. That's already toast. I remember guys, I, I got not that much food, not much glycogen, if any, and I've already done two hard exercises. So for this movement, it's, there's, there's no heavy. Off season maybe, but right now I don't have the, the calories to sustain that output. To give you guys an idea where I'm feeling that, my lats are feeling it obviously, but my lower back, my erectors, not my lower back, like my lower back hurts, but they're getting pumped from stabilizing. And that's where a lot of my energy is going. So it's a good, it's a good thing. If you're doing this and standing your back's hurting, that's not a good thing. You're probably not engaging your core. When I'm in, I'm like this. I'm pushing here, what I'm pulling. I'm not sucking in, I'm, I'm bracing. So my lower back is contracted too. That's an RPE of like seven. But the pump was about, a attempted pump was about eight and a half. Okay, we're gonna superset, same as before, biceps and rear delts. Three sets, back to back to back to back, and that'll be it. That's it. Of course I gotta go into the closing room and do a round. I got to. Don't got my chunks with me, this is fine. I just gotta go in there, hit some poses, completely exhaust my muscle, and call it a night, go home, eat my meal, go to sleep, get to do my cardio, head to set, do my last, filming day on my first reoccurring role in a TV series. Amazing. And then after that, you know what's next. I thank my boy Ferris for 
helping me out today. So if there's you guys will see this, but you guys have to see it. So one mic. So you guys are following, supporting me this entire time, this entire prep. For those of you guys who were from here from the beginning, from 2012, appreciate you. For those of you who were with me just yesterday, I appreciate you. So until I put the next video up, I want you guys to binge watch all my videos. Grab my PPL ebook. Book yourself a phone consult. In the meantime, you know how it is. Iron Shepherd's Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing.